what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i don't know why my wait a second why is it blinking <laughs> anyways um welcome back to the channel man as you guys know if you have not checked out the update video and you're wondering why my uploads are not as frequent as it used to be make sure you go check out my last update video that's titled i think it was thanks for something <laughs> Anyways, um, today I'm still, I'm not a hundred percent today. I think, <clears throat> I think, um, other than the fact that my throat was hurting me yesterday, yesterday I had scheduled to do reactions yesterday. I didn't get a chance because my throat was hurting me because as I tell you guys, I talk for a living. And on top of that, I do, I have to talk to other people. So pretty much all of last week, all I did every day was just talk 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 so my throat was hurting <clears throat> and also i feel like i'm getting sick i feel like i'm maybe getting the flu or something i'm not sure because in miami this time of year the, the weather kind of fluctuates a lot so it kind of affects me um it's the one time a year i usually get sick so i'm usually prepared for it in a way like i usually like um during a lot of like orange juice trying to get my you know vitamin c in <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean my immune system is not weak by any means i'm pretty sure it is not um <clears throat> so as you see maybe some of the times during this reaction you're gonna see me probably <clears throat> put my hand across the screen it's like you're gonna hear me do stuff like that <clears throat> and try to clear my throat because um on top of the fact that my throat is hurting because of all that talking i'm doing um i should also be resting today but i said you know what i feel a lot better my throat feels a lot better so i'm gonna try to get these um reactions out to you guys i may not do as much as i want to do but i'm gonna try to do as much as um so everything on the channel i, I definitely can't do all of it today but I'm definitely going to try to do as much as possible. So maybe not, maybe I won't do the anime stuff. Um, I still need to do um, The Walking Dead too. I forgot, I haven't even done episode two of that yet, the new season. So I might do the stuff that are more long. So if you're watching this, um, the stuff that I haven't uploaded in a while, which is like Spartacus, the Walking Dead, um, maybe those will be out, but everything else um, will not be out until probably like Wednesday, Thursday. So um, just, 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 um, just bear with me. Just bear with me. You know, um, is you know things are kind of slowing down right now. They're they're kind of slowing down. It's not as hectic because you know Black Friday is gone and stuff, so it's not as hectic. But yeah. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So just bear with me. As I said, this might continue until the beginning of next year. So let's see what happens. Okay. So thank you guys so much for being patient, man, and waiting on these episodes. I know you guys, um, I know that you guys are, you know, just sitting there wondering what's happening with Terabyte Reacts, but we are here and I'm glad that you guys are patient for all you new subscribers that I see coming in, man. Just know <laughs> that I'm here and I'm, I'm I'm trying to do the best I can. Anyways, Spartacus. We know our boy Spartacus is back in the fold after being in the underground, um, fighting in the pits, you know. So our boy Batiatus brought him back to the fold. Um, how Crixus is going to feel about this, I don't know, but we'll get to see. Um that lady you guys have told me her name in the comment section but i still don't remember her name i'm gonna have to check back again <laughs> but anyways man um i'm curious to see what's gonna happen in this story for a lot of reasons um is he going to get back to his wife which is the big one right is the is the thing that's driving the story right now at the top of the list is is spartacus going to get back to his wife anytime soon which is as I said, it's what's driving the story right now. It's the narrative. It's the complete narrative 
overlooking everything else. Everybody else has their agenda, but that's the one thing that we all want to see as the audience right now is, is he going to get back to his wife? Is he going to find her? You know what I'm saying? So what now? So we're going to jump into this reaction, man. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in. So let's go watch this episode and I'll see you guys right back here for the review. Yeah, so here we are, man. Spartacus episode five is over and somebody decided to start vacuuming right outside where I'm recording this review right now. Like, why? Why, why do they... Why does she do this? I, I I don't know. She knows I'm in here recording, but she's like literally right outside the door right now with a with a vacuum cleaner. I know uh, you guys probably can't hear it, but it's loud. You get what I'm saying? But anyways, let's do this review because you're probably not hearing it that much. But anyways, okay, she stopped. This show is on another level. And I know you guys probably don't like the upload rate right now, but it will soon go back to normal. Hey, she started again. <laughs> Anyways, but I know you guys are probably saying that, man, I wish you would upload this faster. But I have to do it when I can, guys. I can't do it when I can't. Of course, I have to do it when I can. Um, as I said, man, it's not like I'm to the point where... You know, it's not to the point where I'm worried if I'm going to stop doing YouTube or anything. Because I'll never do that. I'll never do that to you guys. That's a promise. Um, stuff might be off schedule or something like that for the time being right now. Because, you know, it's busy season. It's Christmas season. Um, so I have to attend to other things. But trust me, when I get a chance to watch, I will watch. Okay, I know it's been, I think it's been two weeks or so since I've done a Spartacus episode, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly when the last time I did a Spartacus episode, but I do remember these shows. I remember everything that is going on in the shows. I may not remember maybe names because I haven't really gotten used to this yet. I know, um, I know the names in the show. I know Spartacus. I know Crixus. I know Batiatas. Um, his wife' name is is Lucretia. Is Lucretia, Lucretia, Lucretia. I think it is. Um, I think that's all I know for now. <laughs> all I remember right now. I know Dr. A. Um, but man, all I want to talk about is this fight and also Batiatis getting his revenge on and finding out that it is Salonius that tried to kill him, which I kind of suspected, but I just never talked about it because I kind of suspect that it, this is going to lead right back to this fool right here. So I know he, you know what I'm saying? He a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like him. Never liked him since he came into the show. Um, I like Batiatris because he's the type of guy that he knows what he has to do to get fame. He's, you know what I'm saying? He, he uh, he's, he's in debt right now to a lot of people. So I was also kind of wondering why those guys stop hassling him about the money. Because I think they were there that night when he got attacked too. But it, 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 I wasn't sure if it was them that tried to attack because it was like, I think they were like across from me. I don't remember exactly. But um, it's crazy to know that, man, this guy is so threatened by someone. You know what I'm saying? Like, why is he so threatened by someone who, um, who, who is not even really carrying weight right now you know what i'm saying like it's like you being the top dog like they always gonna come to him you know what i'm saying but i guess maybe he lost some sort of status from from when spartacus um took out those four guys i guess he kind of lost some sort of credibility after that um and it looks like he just he's just really jealous of batiata's status even though he's in debt you know what i'm saying like we're looking at ba Batiatas from the audience point of view. We're looking at him and be like, this dude is a broke boy right now. Like, he still has his status, but he can't really, like, he keeps taking L's. You know what I'm saying? Like, every time, like, mainly because of, because of Spartacus himself. But at the same time, like, for some reason, 
this guy Salonius is still threatened by this guy or he's just jealous or he just hates him or maybe he just wants Lucretia too who knows you know what I'm saying like the way how he he approaches Lucretia you know what I'm saying like I think he maybe wants some of that I don't know but I like the fact that Crixus basically turned her down and this was the one chance she would have to have a child and I'm like why wouldn't Batiato stay behind I mean she didn't know the requirements like you know what I'm saying beforehand because maybe she would have told him you have to stay because I'm gonna need that you know what I'm saying to 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 um for this to happen but now she's missed that window Crixus didn't do but if she ends up having a child then we're gonna try to find out who she did it with because um that's <clears throat> just a weird situation unless they're gonna pay for it again for her to do it again but in any ways man um yeah so Batia just going to um that house and taking out those guys, man, was I was really hoping that he probably would have took in the kid. You get what I'm saying? Like took the kid in. I mean, but then again, that way they they probably would have known that he did it. Um I mean, in my opinion, he could have played it off. He could have been like, I arrived there just in time to get him. You know what I'm saying? Like to see him outside of the house or something. Like, I was going over there to pay a debt, or he could have played it off some way, somehow. Maybe they would have believed it, maybe not. Who knows? But he could have tried to play it off just to save the kid because, um, but it just so happened that Barca, Barca had to take take the kid out. I'm glad they didn't show that on screen because that, that would have been too much. You know what I mean? That would have been too much. But I still didn't want him to kill a kid because, you know, you know. <sighs> I don't believe in in um in children having to pay for the sins of their fathers or mothers, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in that. I I just don't. I, um. It it happens, but it's not something that has to happen, and it's something that's really really highly believed in many communities, um, uh, around the world that this happens for a reason you know what i'm saying like children pay for the sins of their fathers and mothers and it's just it's, it's a choice you're choosing to let that child pay for that pay for that which their father did which is not cool so so yeah man but let's talk about this fight bro this fight as i said before at the end of the video is one of the best that I've seen in when you're talking about gladiator fights, swords and shields, helmets, whatever, in the arena. You know what I'm saying? It's it's one of those things where you look at and you're and you're like, man, this is awesome. But at the same time, you're, you're like worried because you don't know if your character is gonna come out alive. Crixus is in critical condition. Oh my God, he that dude is crazy. <clears throat> He's crazy good. And when Theocles, I knew that was way too easy. I was like, bruh, no way they took him down so easily. You know what I'm saying? He got back up, did some damage. You know what I'm saying? That dude is not afraid to get cut. They cut him a lot, bro. I mean, even when when Crixus put the sword in him and pushed it slowly into him, he's like, bruh, I got you. And he's like, bruh, got me? man get off me bro you know what i'm saying pull the sword out chopped him in the back oh man he was gonna cut him down but spartacus called out to him and then went on to take him out you know what i'm saying like that was crazy um they had to work together i i think if chris if Crixus, if he did not like blinded him with the helmet if he didn't do that i think <laughs> i don't think they would have survived it. i honestly don't think but that was a good strategy though finally working together um in some sort of way they didn't really work together you know what i'm saying it was more of like it was kind of like an opportunity to distract theocles so spartacus so you could say in the end he kind of respected spartacus in a certain way to believe in him to finish the fight um <clears throat> i really do believe that crixus is going to come around at some at some point i don't know if it's going to be like they're going to have this i think they're going to have this weird kind of friendship in the show where it's like yo if we're competing we're competing but you know what i'm saying we could chit chat you know what i'm saying it's kind of like 
<clears throat> um, those kind of you, you know that relationship where where it's just like we're kind of like brothers when we're not, you know what I'm saying? Like there's there's mutual respect. That's what I should say. There's mutual respect. You get what I'm saying? So I think that um, Spartacus knows what he's fighting for, and I think he's coming around to realize what he's fighting for. But that fight was awesome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, man, stare by reacts. Remember to like, comment, and also subscribe if you're new. See you guys later. Peace.